Hello and welcome to SSL demo. In this video, we will see how to set up client server using public key crypto cryptography. Okay, the agenda of this video is to demonstrate a pure SSL communication between client and server. So in this video, we will create a self signed certificate for the server. Then we will start the server. We will test the server. Then we will create a certificate for the client and then test against the server created in the certificate created in the server. Okay. To start with this demo, we are using tool OpenSSL. OpenSSL is a tool that provides a full capability of SSL communication. Okay. First, we will create a server certificate, a self-signed certificate of X509 format, a PM format file. For this, we will type OpenSSL. We are requesting a new certificate of X509. And we are outputting a server.pom. It's a certificate file. And we are saying we are not going to use any DES standards. So we are specifying no DES creating a private key of using key out command I am having a common name with localhost okay so now we will do the practical we assume that OpenSSL command is installed in our boxes so we will use OpenSSL request minus new minus x509 minus out then the file name server.pum it's a certificate name and we are saying we are not using any DS standards, so we will say minus NODS key out with private key, private key from file, and subject is localhost. Common name is localhost. Okay, so we have generated a 1024 bit RSA private key. So if we see how many PUM files are created, so there are two PUM files. One is private key pom file and server dot pom file so pom is a standard in open ssl which describes the certificate as well as the private key okay so if we cat the private key dot pom we can say the private key begin with begin rsa private key and end with end rsa private key okay in between everything is the key if we do the cat of uh, server.pom, we can say it start with begin certificate and it's end with end certificate. In between, we have X509 certificate format. Now, what we'll do now what we will do we have created the certificate and the private key we will start the server to start a server we will use open ssl command saying open ssl s underscore server with the protocol version ssl3 and this cipher what the block we are using we are using advanced encryption standard with the 256 bit and it's we are using secure hash algorithm with our private key so private key we have generated uh, now so we'll start the server with this cipher and our generated private key okay for the lab perspective in lab we will say open ssl s underscore server minus www ssl version 3 and specify the cipher using advanced inscription standard of 256-bit and the algorithm is SHA, secure hash algorithm. We'll give the key file, it's a priv key dot pom file, advanced inscription standard of 256-bit and the algorithm is SHA, secure hash algorithm. We'll give the key file, it's a priv key dot pom file Okay. 
So for testing, we will use the browser localhost 4443 port. So what we'll do, we will open a web browser and we will type HTTPS since it's secure and say localhost 4433. As this is a self-signed certificate, we got this, uh, this connection is untrusted. So we'll add this to trust store. Okay. So with this say we will we have this started the server with the private key with the cipher AES two fifty six SHA we use SSL three so these are the uh, exchange point between SSL endpoints and this is the session SSL session the protocol the cipher the session ID the session ID constant the master key used. And finally, no client certificate available because we have not started the server with client to. Now we are now we will create a client certificate. So for this, we'll again use the open SSL command. We'll create a new client certificate. We'll say x509, creating a requesting x509 certificate. We are creating a client certificate with client key with common name moi and other attributes so now we are requesting a new client certificate in x509 format saying no use no ds creating a client certificate and a client private key and the common name parameters we are passing so we have created a RSA private key and this private key added to the client key So if we look client key, the, this is my 1024 with RSA private key, which begin with RSA and end with end RSA private key. And in between we have the key format. Now after we created the client certificate and client private key, now we will start the server with client certificate and the server private key. So for this we will use the same open SSL command and pass the argument to it. So from the lab perspective we will see the demo how we can achieve this. We'll type open SSL and we are seeing as sendusco server means we are starting the server with SSL version 3 we are specifying the cipher to used in this case we are still using advanced encryption standard 256 bit and the algorithm is SHA secure hash algorithm we'll accept the connection at port 4443 and we'll give the certificate authority file with client certificate name client.pum and we'll say verify so this verify keyword is important and the key file is specified is the private key okay so we are asking the server to verify the client certificate oops we got some error saying that private key perm is not found so we will correct this error with the right brief key 
write private key file okay we got the accept means we are listening to port 443 in secure mode now what we will do we will open a client and we will ask pass this client certificate to the server okay so now we are testing the client certificate so in this case we we'll again use open ssl command and we will use the client certificate and the client private key okay so let's use this again use the open ssl command S client connect with localhost port 443 and give the client certificate that need to be verified with the client private key so we can see in the server as well the client check the SSL handshake is over and we got everything to be working okay so in the server side we will see the message like begin and end of certificate and secure recognition is supported and in the client side the server publicly is this and the SSL, SSL session information and all so we have achieved the SSL demo thanks for watching the video do let me know your feedback if you have any doubt please ask over the comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you